hey guys <clears throat> welcome back to the channel thanks for watching we're going to be heading out this weekend spend a few nights over in a place called Connor, arkansas on what is also considered the white river but it's the bull shoals tailwater we've got uh plenty of gear we're going to do a little bit of a combination of floating in kayaks and uh, fly fishing from the shore so we're going to do some wading in we're going to do some kayaking either way going to do a lot of fly fishing looking forward to it very excited got a friend of mine joining us named chase uh, i'll introduce you to him later we're going to be meeting up at walmart to get a few last minute supplies you gotta love walmart um and we'll catch you up we're going to be camping out there so we'll show you the tent site when we get out there and get set up anyway until later Well, we finally made it. We're here on the White River at our campsite. It's very, very good looking. Lots and lots of walkout room, looks like. Should be plenty of trout. Definitely some caddis on top. Looking for some trout signs now. This hole, it's very big, very wide. Can't really tell from here exactly how deep, but it looks pretty deep. And the water is pretty swift, so. going to be a bit of a challenge to try to locate all of the trout out here. They have a lot of options. Looks like some kind of rock shelf over here though. Maybe, maybe a good spot. Um, there was a rise right there. I think. There's no shortage of caddis on the top though. So, I don't see a lot of rising, but I would definitely, I don't know if you can see all of them or not, but I mean, they're just out there, a bunch of them. Oh, mayflies, sorry. There's what we got. We got nothing but mayflies. Just a bunch of mayflies. I heard one. Okay, we've got the campsites up and going. Great view. Next thing, catch some trout. Chase stopped off at the local fly shop. He let us know that indeed it was mayflies that I was seeing, and that's what everyone's going with. So they hooked us up with some great mayflies. We're looking forward to trying them out. Say hi to the camera, dude. You're live, man. Yeah. Not sure how much we can walk in. Fight, so buddy, get ready. Really? Yeah. Let the fun begin, huh? Where can I go where I won't get in your way? Um, I can go right a little bit. I'll go down this way. This first day was a real grind. Chase and I walked up and down the banks. We looked everywhere. 
the current was really moving. It was over 10,000 CFS. And I mean, it would move you if you weren't careful. You had to really bury your feet to keep from falling or from sliding off. Uh, we walked up and down the banks. We tried many spots. We tried lots of different patterns. Overall, though, we just really couldn't find them or get them interested in whatever we were throwing. Um, we kind of just decided that we'd work our way back to camp and hope they stopped generating. We'd try again in the morning. What would you say you're roasting? Nice. Mm. Highly recommend. How many fish did you catch? 36. Threw them all back, though. All of them? Every one. Oh my god. So I'm eating beef jerky over a, over a fire. And that's a heck of a haul. 36. <laughs> Minus 36, that's the, that's the real number. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Okay, morning number two. Chase is still asleep. Hopefully he'll join us later. I hear some trout. We're gonna sneak down here, see what we can do. It's about 5.30. They stopped generating last night. Water levels are looking pretty favorable. He's a fighter. Oh yeah, he's a nice one. Oh, he's pulling on me. He's taking it well. Golly, what a fight. Got him. Oh, that is a nice one. That's a big one. Golly, look at the size of that. Oh, that's a gorgeous fish. That is a gorgeous fish. All the four, oh boy. Chase even got up. Okay. Beautiful fish. Whew. Okay. Back. 
Oh, that's a big one. That's a nice size one right there. Bull shells, white river trout. That's what it's all about. Oh man. Makes it worth it, doesn't it? Get to come out here and camp with one of my best friends. Try a place we haven't been before. It's my first time out here. I think I came out here when I was a kid, but certainly hadn't been out here in the last 20 years, I don't think. And uh, whew, it's as magical as I thought it would be, honestly. I mean, I can't believe how beautiful this place is. This river. <clears throat> I recommend to anybody stay at the uh, Bull Shoals state park it is just gorgeous great camping accommodations and the the old adam mop there it uh showed up for me out here on bull shelves so we wrapped up with just the one trout it was a great looking trout. It was very fun to catch. He put up a great fight. I would definitely come back. We're looking forward to it. Uh, we're going to try some different places, go out of state. Definitely going to keep going, but we are going to go back to Bull Shoals. It's a heck of a place. I recommend it to anybody. And even though we only got the one, at least we didn't get skunked. And we do know some places we'd like to try next. But I think that's the key. You've got to get out and you've got to hit a bunch of different water. It's so big and vast that you've really got to cover some ground if you're going to be able to find them on that river. Okay, we came, we saw, we didn't kick a spot. We only caught one, uh, but we did catch one. It was a nice size one. Had a great time. Um, definitely would recommend it. We come back forward to coming back at a different time learned a lot i think we can isolate catch a few more next time it's big water so you really gotta gotta explore some terrain if you want to catch something but uh thanks for watching and until next time everybody have a good one